Hello, everybody. It's December 2nd. It's the second day of December, Ember. And if you're joining in on this collaboration between Barbara from 49 Ragaflies and Louise from Louise Hensel, they're putting this uh, amazing daily ephemera inspiration until the 25th of December. So two videos, one for each of them. You have to check it out. They are making fabulous, fabulous, inspiring pieces of art, ephemera for junk journals. I'm live in the junk room, at least one of the junk rooms, but it's time to see what's behind door number two of our advent calendar. Here we go. Number two is right here. What is it? It's a stamp. Well, isn't that interesting splatters playing card and the giraffe those are the things we need to use for december the 2nd in december 2022 i found this nice big giraffe but i really like this head so we're going to see what we can do about that. Playing cards. I have different size of playing cards. I have the little ones that I have started to alter with tea bags. I have the next size up. Plus I have regular playing cards, which I didn't, which I didn't grab. And then this gigantic playing card. I have watched both Barbara's and Louise's uh, projects for today, trying to do a little bit of both, but I have different supplies than they do. I want to use this one. Now they have a journal that they're putting this in. I don't. This was yesterday's fluffy, fluffy and mason jars with a hedgehog. So that was yesterday's page, day one out of the advent calendar. I It's not quite finished. I need to get a post <laughs> for the sign. So this is one of the pages. I want to use this one because I, I liked uh, their idea, Barbara's idea making it be able to go back and forth. So I have some napkins and I love using napkins to alter things. So what if I took this napkin Sometimes there's two, sometimes there's three layers. So I think that's the last layer for that. And I like the colors in here because it, uh, it's a little bit with the orange for the giraffe. So I thought I'd like to cover this playing card. So let's just go for it. There is there is no plan. So we'll just put some Yoohoo stick glue. And then we'll bring this and put it on top. Now, 
can't really see the playing card, but you and I know it's there. So right now, I'm not going to use my Mod Podge because of time. I will go back and do Mod Podge. I can hardly believe that it's December already. I watched uh, their December Rumber last year. I watched all their videos, and this year I just, I just wanted to join in the fun. Okay, so we're gonna. Do that. And I apologize. Yesterday, I don't know what happened to my sound, but it just went from nice to nothing but static. So I'm going to cut this guy out. And over on Barbara and Louise's channels, which I will do my best to link below, they have freebies and goodies oh look I just messed that up that's all right no one will ever know now I'm just gonna cut this down a little bit because I want to use this head so we'll just cut around there I hope you're having a great day today Isn't that much better? <laughs> okay, let me cut the legs. I'm not sure how much of the legs we'll see when all is said and done. But let's get those, those done. Okay, so if we set him there, and we put the head there, mm -hmm. I like that, we're going to do something with the back later, put, put his head there. I like Louisa. She uh, did a steampunk. Steampunk is not something that uh, I'm really good at. And I'm just wondering that that's really busy and the giraffe gets lost and we want him to be the star of the show. So yesterday for the hedgehog... I was doing grass, trying to make grass from some fabric. So maybe the giraffe can be there. I'm going to use some gesso to push that back a little bit so we can see our giraffe.
Try to remember not to do it too hard because then <laughs> uh, I'll rip the, the napkin. Now we should dry that. I think I like this idea. Where I'll do this. Get the giraffe. Maybe he can stand it in there. Nice. Yep. Liking that. Where's his big head? Here it is. I have to cut don't want to see that white there. Don't want to see any white. And I think I'm just going to just kind of snip a little bit along there. Not that you can really see it, but Oh, and there's a little piece of white right here at his mouth. So about there, we can cut him. Cut this giraffe off. Line it up. Oh, he needs the long neck, though. There we go. Ah. I'm just going to put a dab of glue to keep him lined up in there. Now this was the stamp in the advent calendar. I'm still not sure what it is. I think it's just a decorative piece. I'll put it on stamp block. Oh, various dried up. But I learned something today on Louise's channel. She said she had uh, Okay. That's what that looks like. Louisa said that she had an ink pad that uh, was what did she say wasn't good or something and she took the ink pad part out put it in some water and she's still got ink that she can use for splattering I don't know I'm just gonna see what happens if we just do some inking Just adds a little more interest. Let's put one over here. There we go. Okay. And I wanted to get some metal elements in, maybe. We got some gears. I love gears. See, we could put that aside. I don't know if I'm using that there. Oops.
something like that. Okay. All right. So I think that's good. So let me let me glue down the giraffe. He's got a shorter neck, but that's okay. He is a masterpiece. There we go. And then we'll put some of this glue and maybe grab our tacky glue for the material here. I can just move it down like that. And there we got the grass going there. And some grass growing here. Dream. So far, I've got the playing card and the giraffe. Um, I wonder what it would look like if I put some of the smaller playing cards in the grass. Maybe a little too big. Let's get these gears down. And then maybe we need some flowers. We could give him a flower on his, a crown of flowers. I'm thinking I like like his hat there. Something needs to go here to cover there. Oh, maybe we can make a necklace of flowers for him. And splatters. So I gotta put that one down. And plus our Our flap so that it can be attached. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and start gluing all these pieces down. Okay, so everything is glued down. And my flap flip out is going to be with an envelope. And so I've got it glued down, but that's not very strong. I'm going to take a file folder, old file folder, and I'm going to cover the back with this for now. Because I don't know what's going to come later where I want to use the envelope. So we're just going to trace around here just so I know where to cut and we'll just glue that onto the back for now let's just 
open that envelope. We're just going to glue this down right onto here, cover up those brads. And then we can decide what to do on the back of this later. Things just want to hop in. I like it. Don't you? Some, just a little bit of splatter. We could go for some black. So I have some paint here. Let's see, get some black. Some here. And some water. Get it nice and runny. Up a little bit. There we go. And then get my special little brush here. And let's just see if I can do this. Need a little bit more. But there is day two done. Bye, everybody. See you tomorrow.